couple of sharp, consistent academics recently outed what had been rumored for a while, that Bitcoin's historically unprecedented price spike throughout 2017 resulted in significant part, perhaps in whole, from price and market manipulation. Um, yeah, this program more than hinted at it all of last year. Jumping 22 times in price in less than a year looked more like a kid's creative writing, or more aptly at this point in this age, creative coding assignment in school, rather than an economic phenomenon resulting from authentic supply and demand. Yet how, and more importantly, why did Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies skyrocket in such a concocted fashion? And relatedly, how and why have they dropped in perceived value so aggressively since last December? What were the immediate surface and certainly much deeper tools used and by whom? What relations exist between the forces driving such price movements in this new, unregulated, and yet wildly popular global asset class and the older forces of government and banking regulators, private institutional owners, and the typically compliant mainstream business press? In this 23rd episode of Money and Fear, and as always in the show's detailed show notes listed under the videos on our website, we'll discuss the given details of this increasingly conspicuous market manipulation, which ironically exists in the one space that's touted itself as, quote, off the grid and away from central and private banking, exchanges, and even given fiat money mores and paradigms. Yet greed is greed, and a very effective emotion, either individually or certainly in the mass collective, for bringing about tectonic changes. Here we'll discuss the key given crypto players, the regulators, and more critically, poke at the not so easily discernible constituents, either already listed or even potentially present, who are or may be involved in this universal fiscal psychodrama. The full program's episode will give you some organizational and historical perspective regarding where the wider cryptocurrency phenomenon is intended to go. If you're not a NewsBud member yet, please join and tell others. It costs practically nothing, yet gives you information you're not supposed to know, thus empowering you to stay ahead of the herd and think like these long-term planning global establishment leaders and their deployed sector managers think. The time is now to support independent nonpartisan media, so please consider joining the worldwide NewsBud community today and tell other genuinely curious souls and family out there as well. Thank you.